Morning vlog. Just a quick overview of the room. It was pretty nice, wasn't it? So good. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna get food. I didn't eat it all last night. Do what? I wish I didn't eat anything last night. <laughs> Uh, all right, we got some stuff. We went to Walmart. Needed another magic mount adapter. Patrick needed a cable for a switch. He forgot. Well, he didn't forget it. He got his wall charger, not the portable charger. Yeah. So we got that. I don't feel like turning the camera around because I'm lazy. So had a. That's two good poops, and we're ready to go. There's our beautiful 18-wheeler. Another 12 hours of driving. That, oops, sorry. Technically, it has 14 wheels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we're almost an 18-wheeler. If you count the wheels in your car. Yeah. Oh, boy. And again, that thing's only filled up a quarter of the way. It's not even filled up that much. Oh, is his door unlocked? Wow. Didn't lock it before. All right, gas right up. Ow. I hate this shit. Keep hitting my head on it. Gas right over there, and then we're out of here. Grab me a pib. Oh, wait. All right. Hey, come on. Twist. Why is this like that? Twisty on it. And now we wait for the numbers to go off. This be like 90, 90 to hundred dollar bill. No, it won't be that much because we're, we're just about halfway, if not a little over. <laughs> so it should be about eighty or so. <laughs> oh, that's such a better view for the camera too. Casey's is the food place I keep seeing. Casey's. Yeah, Casey's. I keep seeing Casey's General Store too, but it's the same same place. Yeah, look at Sonic. Wow. We could have waited until we got here and had Sonic last night. That's what I mean. There's one near the house. Yeah. I'm not I'm not particularly like crazy about Sonic, but like Sonic for fun. Okay. I'm just, I'm just crazy about because I'm like I need I, it. That's why I mentioned it. Buffet and Grill Saint Avenue. That's why I'm just like I'm just like we see Sonic. Stay straight, right? Yeah, it says you stay straight for approximately uh, 76 miles. Oh, this bouncing shit's already going on. There's got to be this fucking truck with how it's loaded. Probably. What's up, gamers? Wow, oh, that was cringe. Oh, that's cringe. Nah, that was Marina. Hello, like a day as it goes, and welcome to the Ladies and Gentlemen podcast. I'm your host, Johnny, and with me today, I have Patricia. So, spike your coffee with milk. Sir, excuse me. I don't want to die. Well, yeah, that's why I'm going to wait till you're done unloading in Florida. That way I can just do it so I don't feel bad. I'll just do it. Don't. I'll actually do it right before your flight so you get on. Oh, I hate you. I will I will, I will. will shit in a bag and mail it to you. Come on, you need to use the bathroom on the plane once. No, I do not. I, I saw a tiny of that fucking door. I ain't yeah, going in awesome. there. So that's I ain't going in there. I had Whataburger once before I went out of the <laughs> 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 I had water burger once. I know where that went. <laughs> yeah, that went somewhere. You drop, went there before you dropped me off in Houston. That dropped somewhere over Iowa, probably. I don't know where it went. <laughs> All right, so we're on the road, of course. I uh, wish you could see anything other than just us, but yeah, let's see the driving portions. Yeah. 
Um, it's actually interesting stuff over here, and the roads are nice. Yeah, so we're, we're driving through Missouri right now. We stopped in uh, Hannibal, Missouri at our hotel, which thankfully was very nice. They had a very, very good hot breakfast. Yeah. A very nice lady made breakfast. We had a whole buffet set out. You know, eggs, sausage, hash browns, and then all the muffins, bread, toast, waffles, bagels, bagels and then juices. condiments, juices, coffee. You know, the, a good hotel breakfast. <clears throat> I would say, and this is not a complaint, but I would have swept, swept the sausage for bacon, but I don't think they probably have bacon because they were also out of fruit, which you know, it was fine. I wasn't looking for fruit because that tends up to my stomach anyways. So, but that was just a, a good ass breakfast. I got three cups of coffee in me because I didn't shit yesterday. And I know if you don't care about details of my shit, skip ahead like 30 seconds. No, they're gonna detail it out. But I didn't shit at all yesterday and I'm normally a very regular person. I shit one to two times a day. So, yeah, I didn't shit yeah, yesterday. Don't give yourself that much credit. I do. Well, okay. On a bad day, I shit like a lot more than that. But uh, keep skipping ahead. No. Uh, but I sh I didn't shit at all yesterday. So today I had three cups and boom, I'm good. Busted out two Mr. Grumpies this morning. Yeah, within a span of 30 minutes. Yes, uh, sir. Well, so the first one is yesterday, and then the other one was was today this morning. So. No, you went there, you went in the hotel, then you went in Walmart. Oh, oh yeah, no, the first one, I only went twice, and the first one was yesterday's shit. And then the second shit was today's shit. That makes sense. Really quick, look at this. Majority. We're going up over this hill here. I just look at this, look how fucking beautiful this is. Yeah, like how stranded that one vehicle is when the has on, so hit them. They're probably just picking flowers or something, they don't look like they're distressed. Yeah. Why are they got a flat tire in their fuck? I don't know. Let's film their agonizing pain. But, eh, look at this. This is just amazing. This is, I'm, as most of you probably know, I'm from Houston, so I'm used to a flat, smoggy city. Um, no real pretty scenery. Houston's a rather not pretty city, no matter what anyone says. Loads and loads of cars. So, yeah. So, to go through all these states that we're going through and just see all this beautiful scenery is amazing. Missouri so far is, is the most beautiful and we've been through North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, Iowa, and now Missouri. I don't think we went through South Dakota actually. We did. I thought we did. No, we did. Oh, I thought we passed through South Dakota. No, because we went straight to Fargo to Minneapolis and down. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, we missed South Dakota. Well, anyway, same difference, I guess. You've been to one Dakota, you've been to both. Yeah. But yeah, very pleasant uh, scenery, and this is by far the prettiest, because it's just hills and like trees and forests and just, it's, it's nice. a freeway going through the small city of Hannibal. It's got on the roads, like, here you go, this is the highway. It's like, okay. Yeah, it's was, it was, it was freaking nice. So, yeah, we had a good ass fucking morning here. Patrick got some good sleep finally. I got some really good sleep. I slept amazing. That hotel was nice. There, there was a roach on the alarm clock charger ports, which the charger ports, none of them worked. They didn't seem like they were working. Yeah, so I was like, okay, well, whatever. Um, at least I brought my brake to charge my phone and stuff. Right. So. Yeah. Now we're in Frankfurt City Limit. I'm going to turn the Jeep, or I'm going to turn the cruise control off and just coast down this mountain. Because it was wanting to downshift and I don't want to do that. So it eats the key, it just eats the key, doesn't your ice cream? Moral of the story. Uh, yes. That's what people do, apparently. Yes. Anyways. We got 83 miles to our major city of St. Louis before we go through it. Yeah, St. Louis is our next major city, so let's see uh, how quickly we can make it there. I know the speed limit's a big gun this truck now, so we'll see y'all in the next update. I accidentally hit stop record instead of zooming out. Bro, are those fucking mountains? They're just like large hills. So you know. We've been driving for a while and I've seen some mountains and I've gotten some B-roll of some mountains, but these are big mountains. These are, like, I know there's way bigger in the world, obviously, in the country alone. I just personally have not seen them. And of course, construction work, but why is he backing up? Oh, be prepared to stop. That's cool. That's awesome. 
Everyone's getting over up ahead, so that's great. Wait, why are all your flashes on? Do we actually have to stop, stop? Oh, why are all your flashes on? Oh, I don't like this. Hold on, so I'm gonna put y'all up here. Fuck yeah. on everywhere. We're currently stuck in some traffic. Yep. Yes, sir. But anyways, yeah, as I was saying, what the fuck are these? Are these mountains? Is that what these are? But yeah, seals. No, these are mountains. Yeah, seals, but yes, mountains. You just these are made of rock. Like, fuck. Come on. Really? I'm, I'm excited about all these awesome fucking mountains, because I'm from Houston. As most of you know, as I've said, I'm not used to mountains. I'm used to flat. And I'm seeing these giant foot and I know compared to mountains that people climb, you know, actual mountains, that these aren't that tall. But these are pretty fucking tall for me. Like, these are fucking mountains. It's cool. I've not seen them before. And yes, I know what you're thinking, Beck. Go to Utah. Go to Utah. I'll see plenty. I'll go to Utah sometime, okay? More <laughs> There is no reason to drive 15 hours straight as your first drive ever. And Beck's just sitting there, yeah, man, you go, man, you go, man. Good, was, hey, good on you. Good. At least no, I, was no, no. At, I was calling him at every single gas no. stop, telling him where I was at, what progress no. I made, and he was happy with it. No. And I just basically was like, I, know, I should be here around this time. I'm here, here. He's like, oh, that's not far away. I'm like, yes, sir. And then I had a Red Bull slush at like 10 p.m. that night from Sonic, and it was delicious. No. Hey, what do you think you're doing, huh? Huh? What do you think you're doing, huh? Eh? Oh, eh? Yeah. oh yeah, eh? oh yeah, oh eh? yeah, 55 miles an hour, oh eh? yeah, one road, eh? one road. Eh? 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 You know I don't do anal. Oh, you like that, huh? Listen, you can take they can they take sound requests too. 
Nice to know, because I we, requested we, that song. Will you play Norm that one? Yeah, and the blue one earlier. <laughs> what the fuck? Will you play regular Crab Ray, please? Okay. <laughs> constantly going uphill, or are the trucks dead, or that gas or shit, because I just can't get up to fucking speed. I've been trying so hard. Well, we're slightly increasing up in elevation, so I don't know. I think we were just constantly going uphill this whole time, because I could not get up to speed. Okay, yeah, that was it. We are going uphill through those mountains. Are we above those mountains now, or something? Is that what happened? Oh, I can't tell if sun's like mine. Do you see, are we above those mountains now? Eh, probably. Oh yeah, we are. We just climbed those fucking mountains. That's, that's why I couldn't go. Okay. Dude, we just climbed fucking mountains. Monteagle, Tracy, see, are, are we out of fucking Tennessee yet? No, because they were going to be pop up. I don't even know if I'm, I should be going the right way, because they said stay yeah, on Yeah, because road. it says 50 more miles until we go on 185A. Do we have an hour left? We have two hours and ten minutes. What? No. Uh, we only made twenty more minutes of pro. Mm. I tell you the miles, but it doesn't tell me on my thing. So. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Well, as you can, as to tell you, sir, that uh, this uh, thing just hate us because it's traffic jams and whatnot. At least we don't have to drive like ten hours tomorrow, so you know that's fine. Uh. Probably will. Big ass trucks that are hauling shit. <laughs> oh, brake adjustment area. What are we going downhill? Great, my brake's gonna overheat. About the mountains, and I was like, Fuck these mountains. Runaway truck ramp, one half mile. I'm some way the fuck down. I don't give a fuck. Bruh. <laughs> wow. I'm not leaving most of this in, probably. I'll, I'll leave what you said. downshifting. It's okay. Stop. Yeah. Hey, they do have one of those. That's fantastic. So if you lose, if your brakes stop working, you can just slam into that and you'll be fine. You won't damage your truck or your goods. Now I don't know how the fuck you get back down. Mm, yeah, you call a repairman. Now, ah, I'm fucking up here. Hey, which one? This one? Okay. I don't want this fucking truck to break doing this. We hope we find. Hopefully no more. We don't want to climb any more mountains up to this, because uh, that would not be a fun time for us. You're not supposed to ride your brakes that long. They get overheat. Catch fire. We're genuinely going through giant fucking mountains. Yes, This is sir. partly scary. Like, in a car, it's fine. We're a fucking truck towing. This is scary because if I let go, we start speeding up immediately. Da, da, 
so far up on the mountain. Yep. Look at that. We're not how far up we are in these mountains. those trucks, honestly. It says you flew from Chesterfield, Missouri to Nashville, Tennessee. Fucking hell. Oh, man. That my pressure changes and my gear is clicking. I hope this truck is okay. Dude, that smells awful, but I think I don't think that's us. I know. It's is there smoke behind us? I can't tell. I don't think so. Looks like it. Man, I'm experiencing so many fucking new things. I never thought I would experience living in Houston. Driving through mountains, going down hills, up hills. Like, all these different driving conditions. I never thought... Like, trucking fucking driving shit I'm having to learn. Like, not all the way, but like, light mode. I hope our brakes aren't on fire. I don't see smoke. No. It's a heavy fucking truck, so they should be designed to stop and work like that. I don't want to take the camera view off these fucking mountains, because look at this shit. Look at this. Look at Giant it. Giant fucking mountains all around. Like, I feel like I'm in fucking Utah. Yes, we know. I didn't know Chattanooga's fucking mountains. Yeah, I know. All time, Jordan. Shut up, Herbin. You're stupid. It's uh, uh, you fucking eat, eat whole. You excited over the like the most like the, the lamest things? Yeah, well, what happens when you live in a flat land? Yeah. Okay. Maybe you can in a second. Look at the tip of that one up there. You see that? You see? Ah, hi, big truck. You see the big tip? That, that weird tip up there? What the fuck is that? Right in the middle of the screen. Nah, it could be a fire. No, it ain't a fire. I, I mean, like, the fucking... The, the tree line. That's what I'm trying to say. The tree line on top of the mountain up there. It just, like, stops, and then there's, like, a few trees, like, on their own. The Grand Line. Pun? Oh, Pittsburgh. Oh, great. We're going through fucking Pittsburgh. We got about like 134 miles before we're done. Yay. I just don't want to stop filming because it's so much, but it's not special to most people because they haven't, they haven't seen it already. Is that a bird, bird, bird? I hope I have enough room for this. I haven't been recording my phone a lot today, I don't think. So. Yeah, I don't know. We're just uh, we're vibing, we're chilling, we're grooving, we're relaxing, we're maxing, we're chilling out, some shooting some e ball outside of the school. Not again. Yeah, 
What does that say? No, what? Okay, whatever, maybe not. Entering Lower Tennessee River watershed. That's so much water. We've been stuck here for like 20 minutes now. We're not able to move. I don't know what the fuck is, is going on up there. But, can I move the center of focus around? I can, that's weird. Well, anyways. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck is going on up there. But, uh, yeah, we can't. Something's closed, and I think it's our exit, and we we're literally just sitting here not moving for like 20 minutes now. So, yay, yay! Thanks. Uh, that's that's three times we've gotten stuck in traffic today. Man. Something fucking awful had to have happened. I don't, I can't think, like, I don't know what to think of to let only, like, 
a set amount of cars through at a time like that. Like I really have no idea besides some sort of major, major accident, but they let water through, like trucks with tanks of water. Like I saw five, four or five trucks with tanks of water drive by. So Some shit, yeah. That makes me think fire or something. But I mean, they may not have been water, it could have been something else. I don't know what, but something happened that they're not letting people exit. Like, going towards Knoxville, it looks like that exit's open, but everyone's going towards Atlanta, it looks like. But I really fucking can't tell. I don't know. So we'll find out in a minute when we get there's a cop up here. He's blocking the road and only letting people through bits at a time. <coughs> yeah, he's guiding people through, I guess. Do we get to go? We don't get to go to Atlanta, do we? No. We got a detour. No, no, we do. Do we? Can we go this way? Tell. No, I can't. I don't think. Well, that car just did. They did, but I don't think I'm supposed to. That does not look like it's allowing people to go through. It would go this way. I don't know. He just kind of ignored us. Well, I guess okay. Go out this way and find a different route, I suppose. Yeah, because we can't. What happened? Yeah, there's no other cars going that way still, so it's blocked off farther down. So we couldn't go that way, that was just one vehicle that was allowed to go through. Alright, well, whatever. See y'all later again. Every day that we've gotten back on this vlog and gotten to this hotel or a hotel, we've been dead tired. And, uh, you know, that's a given. Because of how many, the first day was 13 hours because we didn't know how long shit would take. Well, first day was three hours, but second day was 13 hours. Today, we were on a fucking good pace for a long time. And we were in good spirits. We're not in bad spirits necessarily. We just have no spirits. <laughs> but we were on a perfect fucking pace pretty much to get here between 9 and 10. I think 9 or so really was a time initially. At least local time because we're in Georgia right now. Uh, just outside of Atlanta, 20 minutes north. And... We get on, we're on the freeways and we get to the uh, exit where we can go right to go towards Georgia or left to go somewhere else. I forget fucking where. And, or rather right to go to Atlanta, specifically towards Atlanta. 
enough to go fucking Chattanooga, Tennessee or something. I don't fucking remember. Driving to those mountains was fine. I was, you know, okay. That was, that that put me to the test somewhat my driving skills a little bit because I didn't, I've never driven through hills. I've never seen hills, but, you know, we talked about that when we got there or when we went through that. I think we vlogged some there. But we, like I said, we got to this intersection where you can turn right to go towards the line and left to go somewhere else. There's about a half a mile of backed up traffic, signs saying stop traffic ahead. All right. Oh well, yeah, it was stopped. 30 minutes later, they're letting three or four cars through at a time. And I see a few of them go off to the right towards Atlanta, you know, where we need to go. I don't see any big vehicles or whatever, but a, a cop basically is letting a few at a time. And I'm thinking, what the fuck? I actually, no. Y'all saw, I, I got some footage and explained what happened then, but... Yeah, that, that, what, I don't, and we never found out what happened. I never found out what happened. I, I really fucking want to think a collapse happened or something awful for them to only allow, like, such a small number of cars through at a time. But eventually, when we got there, the fucking, one car snuck through, and I don't know if he was a worker with them, or if he just forced his way through. But after that car went through, they started moving the, the cones over to block the lane completely to go right towards Atlanta. And this is a major fucking freeway, like one of the main motherfucking freeways coming from different states or whatever the fuck to get to Atlanta. You know, just getting out of the mountains and shit. So we just get through with the mountains and get to this and get stuck. Wait 30 fucking minutes just to not even be able to turn where we need to turn. So we, we have to go left and we're going in the complete opposite fucking direction where we need to go. And eventually we got on this route, which... You're going to be spared the details, uh, but it was, it, I, I, eh, I don't even know how to fucking to describe it besides, it was the absolute fucking test, hardest test of my driving capability that I've had in my life. It was the fucking hardest driving, the most dangerous scariest riskiest fucking driving that I've had to do in my life so far that I can recall like we were at risk wrecking the truck was at risk ruining Patrick's car on the trailer was at risk if you want the full like story of what happened we'll talk about it on our fucking podcast cause we're gonna spend a minute fucking talking about it um so whenever that podcast episode is up, the, if this is up before that, then go, whatever, I don't know. But yeah, it was just the the route that we wound up having to take back to avoid that shit to get to the freeway was some shit, so. Yeah, and who knows, we might change our mind and talk about it later on the fucking blog, but right now we're damn sure not. And it gives you incentive to go listen to the Black Day School podcast description down below. But, yeah. And then after that, which, like I said before, we were on a good pace. After getting through that and getting around the shit and getting back to the freeway that we originally wanted to turn onto anyways. We were still two hours out from the fucking hotel. We were still like 160 miles away. I think we're 150 miles away. But close enough. And every minute of that last two hours dragged on as much as possible. Just like this fucking vlog clip is dragging on. So needless to say, the past five hours have been very interesting. We're both dead. At least this hotel seems okay. But fuck. I don't want to do that again, and I hope tomorrow is easy enough compared to this. And that we don't have anywhere near as many troubles. Because there's nothing we could do to prevent today. It was just it happened, and it was going to happen. It wasn't something that we, we... We prepared. We left early. We left, you know not even fucking late 
so it just fucking happened so you know it, it's 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 part of the fucking uh journey you know shit happens there's not much you can do about it All I can say is I'm glad that truck handled all of it because pushed the shit out of that truck, I feel, at least. Like, I wasn't towing anything heavy, but fuck. Push the shit out of us, that's for sure. So. We're going to go the fuck to sleep. Wake up, get food, because there's a breakfast here. And, yeah.